side with the combat soldiers, Sky War teams entered the dangerous areas. They called on the people to remain calm. civilians ran to government soldiers for protection. The soldiers led them out of the combat areas to safety in temporary refugee centers. Doctors and nurses of the medical corps came to the aid of the civilian wounded in the city. Military and civilian ambulances speeded the evacuation of the seriously wounded. Among the real heroes of the day were the firefighting squads. Throughout the city, the Viet Cong set fire to heavily populated areas to cover their retreat. Each time, the squads had to be on hand immediately to put out the fires and to keep them from spreading. The firemen braved both the flames and enemy guns to perform their vital role in the saving of Saigon. Wherever the fighting was the heaviest, psychological warfare and civic action teams were on hand. The teams used their loudspeakers to tell the people the truth about the attack and how they could best escape to safer areas. The teams used their loudspeakers continually to appeal to the enemy to lay down his arms and surrender. Many Viet Cong responded to the call to surrender. In some areas, entire squads surrendered as a unit. These prisoners proved an excellent source of information. They told of the lack of morale and fighting spirit in their ranks. Some told how they had been forced to fight, but when their leaders had been killed, they willingly surrendered to the government soldiers. battle progressed, the bodies of stubborn Viet Cong littered the streets. Piles of red Chinese and Russian weapons were taken from the dead and defeated communist troops. This elderly man, a lifelong resident of Saigon, showed the soldiers the best way to surround the area the communists had infiltrated. Communist violence quickly turned large sections of the capital city into an inferno filled with frantic residents trying to save themselves and what few possessions they could carry with them. In a matter of hours, the homeless numbered tens of thousands. 